And over the last 10 years, debt has been taken in this country without our approval through parliament. Our debt is anchored in the appropriations bill development and parliament only passed debt of 2 trillion shillings over the last 10 years. Only two. So we did our hesabu, 2 trillion. There was a carryover of Kibaki, 4.3 trillion. And then we looked at appropriations recurrent, which shows our debt payments. We have paid from our taxes 5.6 trillion in debt payments. So as far as the laws of Kenya are concerned, Kenyans are owed 1.3 trillion shillings. We owe nobody anything. We owe nobody anything yes. according to our laws. And that is what we are saying is the option we should be taking so that this pain is removed from us and removed from us totally. This is where we are, sometimes, sir. Going forward, do you think Parliament has the powers to maybe cancel out those other debts to have Parliament approved by Parliament? Absolutely. You see, Parliament only approved two trillion. So they should be asking themselves, what is this debt ceiling they're raising? What is this debt repayment? They should look at the recurrent appropriations and ask, what are these debts that are being paid when we are owed money? They can do it during this budget process instead of raising our taxes. Deal with the debt, we all have money back in our pockets and you will not raise taxes. What can Wanjiko do right now? Well, Wanjiko must petition the MP. That is the first thing. That is the first thing. The other Wanjiko must go and demonstrate that they are the sovereign. We must go and make sure that parliament has heard our voice loud and clear. That we are determined to make sure that this burden is not passed on to us for generations to come. A time to say no has now come. We want our money back 1.3 trillion. Okay? That is where we are. Then there's the other option, which I'm very glad to see Senator Umtata has done. He has gone to court to say we are owed money. We are not going to pay. So there are very many options available to all of us. We can all go to court. We are tired of the oppressive taxation and debt that we are enduring. It is clear that the finance bill, which is trying to raise our tax revenue from what we anticipate to be collected this year from 1.9 trillion to 2.9 trillion is an unachievable target. There's nowhere in the history of this nation that we are able to raise 1 trillion more in collections than the previous year. We have never done so, and it's not going to be achieved today. Anybody that is attempting to pass this bill is passing a target that is fake. Thus, it is a fake bill. And a fake bill cannot be sustained. It can only be oppressive. Oppressive. Their reasoning for this target is only one thing the government is unable to meet its debt obligations. This coming financial year, the government is supposed to pay 1.7 trillion in tax, in, in, in debt repayments. That is at current exchange rate, 1.7 trillion. It is a target that is seemingly elusive. Today, as we are talking, of every 100 shillings, the government is collecting from our taxes. 80 shillings is going to debt payments. It is unsustainable. We cannot survive. Ghana rescheduled at 70. Sri Lanka collapsed at 90. Lebanon at 80%. 80 shillings to 100 going to debt like we are. We cannot sustain this anymore. We must ask ourselves what this is about because this money is no longer coming back to Wanjiko and Mura. It is not. It is going out. Now, we have three choices. Three choices and three choices alone. Not the raising of tax. It will not work. We have three choices. One, 
we reschedule the tax, we reschedule the debt. That is the number one option. And I can tell you it is a very difficult one because you have three pockets of debt. The second option is to say we can't pay. We can't pay. We default on this debt. And even that has consequences. But it is also a solution. Nobody should see it like it is the end of the world. It is not. Ghana defaulted in December when they had reached 70% of their revenue. 70 shillings of 100 going to debt. They defaulted in December and they went through something called debt distress exchange, which in its own way had ramifications on every single sovereign. People had to take a haircut on their savings, on the money they had in their accounts, 30%. Banks had to change bonds to the extent of 30%. You, take, you cut off. Then you have the third option. We have investigated this debt. And over the last 10 years, debt has been taken in this country without our approval through parliament. Our debt is anchored in the appropriations bill development and parliament only passed debt of 2 trillion shillings over the last 10 years. Only two. So we did our hesab, 2 trillion. There was a carryover of Kibaki, 4.3 trillion. And then we looked at appropriations recurrent, which shows our debt payments. We have paid from our taxes 5.6 trillion in debt payments. So as far as the laws of Kenya are concerned, Kenyans are owed 1.3 trillion shillings. We owe nobody anything. We owe nobody anything yes. according to our laws. And that is what we are saying is the option we should be taking so that this pain is removed from us and removed from us totally. This is where we are, sometimes. Sir. Going forward, do you think Parliament has the powers to maybe cancel out those other debts that weren't approved by Parliament? Absolutely. You see, Parliament only approved two trillion. So they should be asking themselves, what is this debt ceiling they're raising? What is this debt repayment? They should look at the recurrent appropriations and ask what are these debts that are being paid when we are owed money? They can do it during this budget process instead of raising our taxes. Deal with the debt, we all have money back in our pockets and we will not raise taxes. What can Wanjiko do right now? Well, Wanjiko must petition the MP. That is the first thing. That is the first thing. The other Wanjiko must go and demonstrate that they are the sovereign. We must go and make sure that parliament has heard our voice loud and clear. That we are determined to make sure that this burden is not passed on to us for generations to come. A time to say no has now come. We want our money back 1.3 trillion. Okay? That is where we are. Then there's the other option, which I'm very glad to see Senator Umtata has done. He has gone to court to say we are owed money. We are not going to pay. So there are very many options available to all of us. We can all go to court. Umtata has gone to court. Many people can go to court. It's not only one person. That is the option. I want to just make sure that I'm making sure Kenyans are aware of their current state and we must say no more to the rise of taxation and no more to debt payments. We have a credit, it must come back. You, you've spoken about the petition that you're supposed to do either today or I don't know tomorrow. Uh, I mean, uh, what are we expecting from the petition? The um, parliament has put out a public participation notice in relation to the debt ceiling. And in that petition, we are going to be putting forward our forensic audit of the debt, saying you should not be raising debt ceiling, you should not be making any more debt payments, you must be claiming back our money. That is what we intend to do in that part. And on top of that, we also want to put a ceiling and suggest a ceiling, which must be, we must not be over 25% or a maximum of 30% of our revenue going towards any debt payment in future. In one sentence, where are we as a nation? Tukokwa ICU. I can assure you we are in economic ICU. Meshika? Yes. Meshika, if you are sitting on the other side of the what would you have done?
In other words, if I was in government, if I was the president today, I would be saying we owe nobody any money. All right? And whoever owed, owes those monies, we in the layer who owe them, but the Kenyan sovereign does not owe. That is what I would be saying. And I would be demanding the credit of 1.3 trillion back to the Kenyan people. That is how harsh I would be. And there may be people who may shake us kidogo, but eventually the sovereign will win. Yes. And perhaps, uh, lastly, Mishmio, uh, we have 15% uh, borrow to meet their needs. So it can give back to Mwananchi so they can produce. You see the prices of nearly every single commodity in this country coming down because everybody will go back to production. That is what I will do and aggressively so. This year, imagine if we took back 1.7 trillion that is owed, that we are not paying. The following year, it's 1.8 trillion. Can you imagine if we are not owing it? That comes back to our pockets. That is the biggest expenditure of our taxes. We can't take it anymore. Do you, do you trust in the Kenya Kwanza regime to turn around the situation? You see, this is why I'm talking now. Their policy, I've been quiet, their policy document is to solve this problem by asking more taxes. I think they are very wrong. They will not achieve it, even if they, even if they pass it. So I'm sorry. If this is their plan, Polesana, it will fail. And you know we are going to be right back where I'm saying. They will default on this debt and the consequences to each and every one of us, because it will be a forced default, will be beyond your imagination. Okay? Something, something. And, and Mwishmiwa, maybe lastly, because uh, we've seen uh, people try to demonstrate about the high cost of living and uh, many other things, but the government doesn't want to see the, the demonstrations even if they're... you what they're... the problem is. Yes. Yes. They cannot pay for that expenditure. And they are running out of answers to this solution. You know, there's no regime, let me be very clear, that sits back and says, I want to cause pain on people. They have a problem. And that problem, they are dealing with it, as far as I'm concerned, the wrong way, by bringing more pain to us. They must accept their problem, and they must deal with it head on. The problem is debt and debt payments. We must say no more. That's it. Anybody Thank else? You. Somebody else, yeah. You know, it is, it is only eight months. I just want to talk about the current economic state. And as far as the economy is concerned, it's unfortunate they don't have the answer. Okay? They don't have the, they don't have the answer. Unfortunately. Asante Nisan.